Well, good morning everyone and welcome to day one of our Florida trip here in September 2023. Day one, an exciting day. A lot of people love day one, especially the vlogs as well. We're going to have a jam-packed day. We're starting off um, not super early this morning, but it's nice. Sun's up, gorgeous blue skies. Uh, it's about eight o'clock and we're heading to Starbucks in celebration. Oh, First day tradition. Wait. Can't wait to get on that lake. It's our little tradition celebration town there. If you've got... A first day tradition do let us know in the comments what your first day tradition is ours is to have a little starbucks by celebration lake and then we go on from there and do the the rest of our day whatever we choose to do yeah. we're thinking of doing magic kingdom today because it is mickey's not so scary tonight uh, which means that in the daytime that park is normally from what i'm hearing and seeing on the facebook groups etc much much quieter because no one wants to go and only have a half, half day, day. For us, that doesn't matter. We'll just go to another park later on uh, or do something else. So we're thinking maybe Magic Kingdom after our Starbucks. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be going to Walmart today as well. We're going to have a full tour of Walmart, see all those favourite goodies that we all like. So excited. Pick up some little bits. And then we'll, let, we'll just see what happens with the rest of the day. It's looking absolutely gorgeous for now, but it does sometimes storm over a little bit in the afternoon. So we'll yeah. see what happens today. Villa is absolutely stunning. We're going to be filming a Villa tour of that as well. Yeah. Uh, so that will be coming up on the channel. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but for now, let's get ourselves to celebration. Get ourselves by our favourite lake, my oh lake. My <laughs> yeah, and uh, enjoy your little Starbucks. Come on. Come on guys, you didn't really think we were going to leave you behind, did you? <laughs> oh, it's nice out there this morning, you can hear all the uh, the men are out mowing the grass and stuff. And you know, you're on like a proper Florida community when they're, you can they're hear the grass eat. mowers yeah. and that. And the weather's gorgeous as well. It's gorgeous today, currently 81 degrees, I wish it would stay like that all day, but it certainly won't, it will ramp up, yep. I'm sure. It's been hitting the 30s recently, but yeah, right. You're on camera duty, Laura. I am. Catch you at Starbucks. So we're staying here on Windsor Island Resort and just over there, as you can see in the distance, is a twisty treat. So we've got twisty treat right next to us. Oh, that's that going to be nice absolutely amazing. Yeah, so no driving around for ages trying to get one. You can just on the way home, pop in and get one. Pop in and grab one, yeah. So, heading in now, you can see the white picker fences. You know you've made it to Celebration oh when you see those. God, I know. So if you haven't been to Celebration before, it's on 192. It's not far from the Disney World junctions, all of that. It's really not far at all. And uh, this was a town originally sort of designed and built by Disney, but it's not actually Disney anymore, but it's very, very nice. It's got gorgeous houses, gorgeous vibes, nice feels, uh, lovely restaurants in here. Nice nature walks around the lake. You can rent bikes and stuff like that. We've done all this before. Um, so those vlogs are already on the channel, but we just love it here. It's nice. It's um, a bit of an escapism from the parks, but it feels like very, it's like a very um, traditional American town you'd see on TV. When you hear white picket fences, the 2.4 kids, the, the big houses with the little backyards, this is what you think. Yeah, it's... Uh, just a nice place to come and chill have a little coffee and there's got a nice restaurant here as well it's a few nice restaurants actually yeah yeah looking forward to it now nice american starbucks the starbucks here in florida and in america taste completely different to the uk the uk ones are nice the ones in tenerife are nice but the ones here they've got a different feel but i've you? said because the ones out here are allowed all the illegal stuff that we're not allowed so you'll find that their syrup is high fructose corn syrup, which is why it's so nice. And ours is, we're not allowed to use high fructose corn syrup in, in Europe, is it? Right. So that's why it tastes so good, I think. Right. But, well, yeah. I'm not bothered, it tastes good to me. As long as it tastes good, I'm happy, yeah. But yeah, I think that's why. Well, we'll show you some of the views as we head in anyway. We'll show you some of the little views of celebration. A lot of you have come here since we've been doing the vlogs here. A lot yeah. of you do make it down here. 
and that you do enjoy it just as much as us, I think. Yeah, it's lovely, peaceful. Gorgeous way to wake up in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. Absolute gorgeous way. Oh, here we are then, and it just sounds and smells and feels just as good as it always does. I love the sound of the birds. Oh, I'm excited to be back. You've got people stretching, having a jog, people have been on a cycle. Oh, this is nice. So as I said, you've got quite a few different restaurants here. We've had breakfast in that one before. Uh, Celebration Town Tavern is where I like to have my uh, blackjack chicken hoagie roll. I quite like that in there. But it's just like something you'd see in the movies, isn't it? Or on a Netflix or something. All the soccer moms going yeah. around and stuff. I know it's yeah, it is very typical American movies, isn't it? I just love that view. Just sitting here with a coffee, just enjoying that view, the lake, the sound of the birds. It's so quiet and peaceful, it's and so different from compared to going straight into a park and getting a Starbucks in a in a park, it's the total opposite, isn't it? It's just yeah. peaceful, quiet. You've got your uh, going a little bit Disney style there. This is more Hollywood Studios. This I with I'm doing Magic Kingdom today, but I never thought Slinky wants doing to like your Slinky eat. dog. It's good them, aren't they? You got them a few trips ago, didn't you? Yeah. Right. Let's pick up our Starbucks then, and then go and sit by the lake. This is all free parking as long as you're in the proper, you know, white line spaces as well, so you can park for free down here. You've even got the Celebration Hotel, which we've said we'd stay in at some point. Yeah, we said we'd do a nice or two in there, see what it's like. I think we'd really enjoy it, walking out into this. I just love the sound of those birds. It's a big novelty for us, the sound of the birds. You don't get that in Tenerife. No, you don't get I love that. Oh, there you go. I can smell it now. Smell that coffee. Smell that Starbucks. And there's my favourite lemon loaf. Can only get them like that in America. The lemon yeah. loaves, several swear, are not as good. So these look good, different. These are new. What are these? I wonder what they are. Have little puff pastry cupcake things. It's got all different brand new breakfast menu. Where's Dad's favourite? Where is it? Dad loves the, uh, the turkey sandwich one, isn't it? I think they've got it here now at the moment. The little turkey roll. That's it, actually. There you go. Turkey bacon cheddar. He likes that. Oh yes, that's the view I've been longing for for such a long time. And I see people posting it in the group here nearly every day, the Night Strider Florida fan group. And I'm like, oh, I wish I was there with mine. A lot of people get this little picture here with the lake. Oh, I'm just going to sit down there, relax. You can sit further around as well. There's a nice fountain over there. Yeah, just sit down, chill out, listen to the birds. There's normally some little gators knocking around in the lake as well. Turtles and things. Starbucks was interesting, he didn't take our name on the order no. and then they gave our caramel lattes to somebody who just wanted lattes and it was a bit of a mix up so we did wait a little bit longer in there but oh, it's good to be back, those rocking chairs, Strider Lake, still waiting for the sign though, the sign's still not being delivered and installed yet, still waiting for the big Strider Lake sign, do you know what I mean? They were talking about putting it right in the middle with a big fountain but I said that might be a bit too much a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a little sign will do. Uh, so we also got a lemon loaf, my favourite, and Laura got a dream marshmallow bar, which is gluten free. Yeah, they're amazing. These are the best rice crispy bars in the world. They are nice, actually. To be fair, oh, there you go. There's a little turtle. turtle just there. Let's see if we can spot some bits. But, oh yeah, there he is. Just popped up. Right, time to sit down and relax now. So I have asked this question before, but I'm going to ask it again. First day routines, if you go into a park, what park do you like to go to first? A lot of you did say last time that it was Magic Kingdom. So we've never done Magic Kingdom first day, no, I don't never. think. Not when we've been vlogging either. So it'd be nice to do a bit of a change. Um, go straight into Magic Kingdom. It'd be nice, try and get some rides done. Bit of Space Mountain. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, a bit of Main Street, a bit of a move through the shops, a bit of Pirates oh, of the yeah. Caribbean. 
Thunder Mountain. We'll see how we get on. Hopefully it is going to be nice and quiet. That's what I'm reading is that it is quiet in the daytime when Mickey's not so scary he's on. Because Magic Kingdom, everyone wants to go and do the fireworks, don't they? When a lot of people now, the way Disney's gone, they want to spend the whole day. So from rope drop to close, park closing now because of the way it is, how much money they're spending on it. So they're going, well, I'm not going to Disney. I'm using one day with two week pass or whatever on half a day. Yeah, they want to do a full day in there. Yeah. And then we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. Just nice relaxing. Get my little caffeine boost. I'm a little bit, still a little bit jaded from yesterday. It was a long day that. 23 hours we were up for. 20, yeah, 23, 23 hours. hours on the go. Flying, vlogging, filming, driving, going through Horror Nights houses. So you name it. That was a long day, wasn't it? Well, yeah, when you think of Horror Nights as well, the exhilaration of getting the jumps and the scares and the, all of that going on. Oh, this is just heaven. Just sit here all day. Let this be routine, nice, isn't it? Little morning, little morning walk around the lake. Grab your Starbucks, drink back the calories that you've just burnt off, <laughs> yeah, and just yeah. relax. Yeah, it's nice just to chill a little bit before we get into the uh, into the parks and stuff. Yeah, definitely. definitely recommend a visit down to Celebration. Definitely add it to your list. It's lovely around here, and it's free as well. You can just walk around the lake. You see Gators, Turtles. Here's the Turtles just popped up just here. Come on home to say hello. So yeah, you will see bits of wildlife around as well, which is nice. Well, there are loads of turtles in there today. I've not seen any uh, alligators, but loads of turtles. Oh, a couple of dogs not too happy there. <laughs> yeah, loads of turtles today. I don't know whether it might be mating season at the moment or what, but there's loads of them around all together as well. Some little groups of two. You ready for a bit of Magic Kingdom, Laura? I am. M to the K. M to the K. Yeah, I am. I'm ready. I've Space Mountain. I've had coffee. I've had the... Oh, I'm excited to get back into the magic now, you know. Oh, We're doing monorail or the boat across the lake. Ooh, Might do the boat, yeah, a bit of fresh air, feeling good. Yeah, well, I'm exciting as well, annual pass holder, free parking. Oh, no. <laughs> Makes a nice difference that, not knowing you've not got to pay for the parking. It uh, really does add up the parking, unfortunately. Yeah, it's so it's quite nice knowing that when we go now, we're just not going to pay it. I'm going to worry yeah. about the, the $27 or whatever. Made up with the car as well, love that. It's a lovely drive, that Nissan Rogue. That new, I liked the old model, but that new model is a step up again. A lovely car, that. Really solid. Well, I do like that. I'd have a couple of them in the fleet if I could. Lovely drive. I like it in silver as well. Last few times we've had black cars, haven't we? And it, they just get really, really hot. They all get hot, but the black cars are uh, really common over here. Whereas in, in Tenerife, Spain and everything, they all love the white cars. Here, a lot of the rentals are black. Yeah, yeah it's nice to have a bit of a different colour for a change. Black, yeah, I suppose it's like simple, but with the heat and everything, I wouldn't pick a black car yeah. personally. Yeah, it's nice to have a silver one. Right, so go on then, Laura. Go rogue. Go rogue yeah. <laughs> it's off to Magic Kingdom now. So there you go everyone all you need is a bit of faith love and pixie dust we're going to find that pixie dust now then yeah. in a uh, bit of mk that's gonna be a good change going to magic kingdom i'm looking forward to it's it for a bit of a, don't normally do it on the first morning trying to mix it up a little bit this yeah. trip aren't we definitely and uh, it's nice to do some slightly different routines we normally either go to universal or that we did hollywood studios last time maybe yeah definitely want to get my ride on guardians of the galaxy as well this trip epcot we will favorite part might even be that might even be later on we might do epcot later on maybe after Ooh, magic yeah, kingdom nice. we'll yeah. see 
So first time through the magical gates this oh, trip, Laura. Look at that. Here we go through the magic arches. Oh, you know you're in Disney when you see these arches. Yeah, we got the purple signs. Oh, oh look at that! Absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so good to be oh, back. Oh, and just in a distance, we won't come up on the camera, but Tower of Terror is just there. Tower of Terror peeking out. It's really hard to make a decision of which park to choose today. It was it's a hard decision because they're all. Like, you know, you want to go to Magic Kingdom because it's special feels and you've got some of your other favourite Space Mountain and stuff. Then you're like, oh, I could do Hollywood Studios with Tower of Terror. Oh, I could do Epcot with Guardians. Oh, I could do Animal Kingdom with uh, Flight of Passage. It's really hard to make a decision which park to choose these days. I know, it really is. Because they're all, they're all quite, they've all got their own them. little pros, haven't they? They've all got the pros. They've all got what we love in each and every park. But wait, they've done well getting amazing stuff in each park yeah they've, they? they've done it well but Ep epcot definitely one of our favorites now but i still see epcot as like an afternoon evening park yeah so do i i, I still don't see it as an as an early morning park for some reason i know it is but i just see it as a nice place to go in the afternoon evening yeah because you can get a bit of food in there can't yeah you just like a bit of atmosphere worry, yeah. around the lake and stuff like that yeah Animal Kingdom, definitely a morning park. Definitely. A Magic Kingdom as well, you could argue more of an evening park. Fireworks, With the fireworks time. yeah. And yeah. the Hollywood Studios is both, isn't it? Hollywood well, Studios both, yeah. That's a bit more of a morning park as well. Get yourself in there. Yeah. It's just great to be back. Great to be back. You'll all know exactly how we feel when you're on your first morning, your first drive into one of the parks. You've been waiting to come for months. Yeah. And you're finally here. And it's, it's a weird feeling, actually. It's like realisation and then gratefulness and then excitement and yeah, it's, it's a bit of a strange feeling actually. I know, I'm so excited for today, what, what we're going to do today, really, really excited, can't wait. So the first ride of the trip is going to be the Disney Tram. The Disney Tram? Yep. Oh, we do like a Disney Tram, don't we? Welcome on board, you're parked in Simba. Simba, there we go. Simba 110. Simba 110, don't forget that. Oh God, I will, I'll take a picture now. If you are not parked in Simba, do not get off. <laughs> oh, I do love a little oh, ride on like the tram. It's, it's normally a bit more, it's a bit more like that when you're coming back, isn't it? Because everyone's tired and stressed out and that. Yeah. The, uh, the tram drivers have a bit of fun. Because everyone's just like Listen, knackered no, yeah, and yeah. Exactly what's going on. Do not walk in front of the tram. <laughs> Funny. I will say though, no, the heat's ramped straight. Oh, the heat's definitely jumped up. We knew it would. It's, uh, it's definitely jumped up. I'm not going to squeeze on that one. We'll have to wait for the next one, will we? For a squeeze on, maybe. So oh, Mickey's not so scary, just as busy as Halloween Horror Night. Sold out tonight. Sold out. So we're thinking the boat then, are we, Laura? Yeah, the Done the monorail the last few times, loved them both. So here we go, prices for uh, so for a two-day ticket, $284. Definitely a best value in the 14-day passes. Closed at six o'clock tonight with Mickey's not so scary being on. There it is, the castle in the distance. Looking good. No ferry boat in yet. I think there might be one just on the way. Can't beat a nice little boat ride, can you? Oh, no, you can't. Look at that view. And if you want to time it well, you get yourself a little Joffrey's coffee, drink it on the way over. Are you an annual pass holder, are you? Yeah. Do you get discount, do you? I do. You get very good discount and free coffee. Ah, see, see, you're getting it now. You're getting it now. You're getting there. Yeah. You're learning. You're learning. Yeah, what a magical view that is.
You ready then, Laura? Oh, yeah, I am. But you want to go on first? The shops. They're not alright. We'll have a look, see how we get on inside. Yeah, Two of the wait times are meant to be pretty good, so fingers crossed. Well, we're in, the music's on, oh. and it's feel good. Nice, yeah. All made up to be back. Just look at those feet. Stunning, aren't they? All the decor for Halloween's wonderful. We don't know whether we might try and come to Mickey's Not So Scary. We're not too sure if it's not all already sold out. We might see about maybe another night coming and doing it. We'll see what happens. They get so busy, these events. Do make sure you book well in advance. If you definitely want to come to Mickey's Not So Scary or... Halloween Horror Nights, anything like that, make sure you book well in advance. Straight into it here, haven't we? We've got the uh, singers on, the Main Street transportation going along. Oh, it's all happening. There they are over there with the horse-drawn carriage. Back in the Disney bubble. So we're just on my first ride, aka the shops. And I've seen this bag, that's really nice. I'm not gonna be buying a bag this time, but that is really nice. And we've got the purse that goes with it as well. So the bag will be the usual price, around $100, oh, $80. It's fairly cheap. And then the purse is $50. So they're really nice, I really like them. We've got lots and lots going on. A lot of the same stuff as the last time, but then we've got, <laughs> got all duck slippers and daisy duck slippers. <laughs> I'd have them. That top and short pants is nice, although I do prefer the one in Universal. So if I'm going to buy something like that, it is going to be in Universal. So this is a new design Mickey this year. We've had this for about a year now. So that's a new design. Still unsure how I feel about it, but it is still cute. Again, a lot of the same stuff as last time, but we do come quite often. But I'm loving how quiet the shops are. Absolutely loving that, it's really nice. Now I'd have this on my front door if I could, although I suspect somebody may steal it. That is adorable. And you've got these big blankets. Don't they don't feel that nice, but they'd be nice as a row, you know. If you're one of those people with the matching pillows as well, they're really nice. Ooh. And of course, all the cutlery. So this one's absolutely gorgeous. So it's that one. So when I'm rich and I've got a show table, I'll have all this sort of stuff on there. <laughs> and then you've got the little bunny rabbits and there's our mug, but in blue. Quite nice, off quite nice on the camera. Yeah, that's the nice stuff again. That's a really good coffee cup. So that's a coffee cup and you get two separate um, cocoa shaker things. So when you um, dust a cocoa powder on, a chocolate powder on, you get a shape. So one's Mickey and one's the castle. So that's stairs, really cute. Oh, are they stairs? Oh my stairs. God, look at those. I mean, did only last and do well in a big, massive house, wouldn't they? The happiest kitchen on earth. Yeah. That's definitely not That's our definitely house, not our is kitchen. It? it is the happiest kitchen on earth because it doesn't get used. <laughs> <laughs> so it stays nice. Oh, look at those reusable bags as well. I mean, if you use them and your kid dropped them and lost them, you'd be pretty devastated, wouldn't you? Let's see the price. 20 quid. I mean, I'd lose them straight away. I'm not great with stuff like that. But again, love these, but I'm not the brightest when it comes to stuff like that. So I'd probably lose them. <laughs> but yeah, all really nice stuff. Oh, that's a lovely kitchen towel. But I've ruined them because I use them all, all the time. So keep it, ooh, keep it casual. If it wasn't Chippendale, that'd be nice. Oh, that's smash. That's nice. What material is it? It's a bit rough. But yeah, really nice. Again, some nice new ones. Some nice new, ooh, a big massive parrot one. 
Stuff. Yeah. Oh, I've just seen this. How adorable. That's really, really cute that is. Because I noticed that because they got the shoes to match. So this is all Halloween themed. They've got quite a lot of Halloween stuff in. So even down there as well. Lots of Halloween stuff which we all love. Really, really nice. So the crowd levels, although it looks quite busy, it's actually uh, not too bad at all. Everything is about a 15 minute wait which is what all the groups were saying. We're going to head straight to Space Mountain, which is on the 15-minute uh, wait at the moment. So it looks quite busy, but in reality, it's not really. I mean, look how many tables are available there in KC's, and it's actually, uh, that, go, that goes far to say, it's actually a little bit quiet compared to normal. So good wait times. Let's get some rides done. We've not done any rides yet this trip. Got to get some rides done. Did the mummy last night, yeah. Couldn't really do much on that. Let's get a bit of Space Mountain done, maybe the uh, Tomorrowland Speedway or something like that, maybe. And here we are, it's jumped up to a 25 minute wait, but that's fine. So we're gonna head on in now into the aircon because it's gone really warm. So we're gonna head on in there and I enjoy our first Disney ride. I'm very, very excited for this. For other conditions that could be aggravated by this, and remember that for a safe space line, you should be in good health and free from high blood. It's one of the queue lines, I hope they never change. I hope they never change this ride. So nostalgic, isn't it? Brings yeah. back so many memories, this ride. So immersive as well, isn't yeah. it? Like, Love it. Yeah, yeah. just the music and yeah. the announcements yeah. and around, probably like old school ride right this, there. yeah. In row one, Laura's our little captain here. I am. I'm your little assistant, am I? <laughs> it's a brilliant ride, that one. That for me is way better than Tron. Goes oh, on yeah. for ages, and there's so many dark points you don't know where you're going. And there's other bits for me Wait. being tall, you feel like you're gonna hit your head or something. I'm small, even I'm like, oh my god. You Wait, feel like is things there. whizzing past you. I am always <laughs> just a tad more scared and a tad more filled on that ride. Oh, I love it. A tad more scared, yeah. Brilliant, proper great old school ride. It goes around to the circle. Oh, yeah, it is. And it feels like it goes past the music. There's that noise, yeah. Yeah, I like that bit. Cracking start to our visit today. Here we go then, so it's time for a little ride on the people mover. It was barely any weight. Nice little chilled ride, this one. And Laura's just working on trying to get us a lightning lane for Tron, but it's not going too well, is it? So we're hopefully going to get a little ride on Tron. We didn't rate it hugely last time, but I'd like to ride it again, just to give it a second chance, just to give it another review. Take you all on there with us as well. So uh, we'll explain what we've done. We've gone for a individual lightning lane, which was uh, twenty dollars, twenty dollars each. It's not cheap, but for the purposes of the vlog, to uh, give it a second go, I think it's worth it not to have to do the return time and everything like that. So we'll see if it works first, though, because it, it's really the Wi-Fi is really struggling today. It's dropping off every every thirty seconds or so. It drops off. So we we'll see how we go. We're going to try and do Tron. Take you all on with us and let's see if we enjoy it a bit more a second time. Yeah. Greetings intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Move, presented by Enterprise. Transfer to green and red line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. I buy two of my special symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. So, Lightning Lane all purchased, $20 each. I mean, at least we're, we're cutting the queue. Yeah. It is, it's a bit pricey, but I do want to try it again. I don't want to do the return time and everything. Last time we waited about two hours. Yeah. 
in total it was a bit of a nightmare so we'll do the lightning lane get ourselves on it give it another go and see if it's better a second time give it another ride if you've not done tron before uh, you do have to do a return time for this so you have to get a boarding group that you are released in the morning and also in the afternoon uh, they're releasing them again at one o'clock today uh, so you have to be quick you have to be there on your phone on the app ready to go to get a boarding group which is free uh, or you can purchase an individual lightning lane which is twenty dollars and that just gives you a specific time a return time a fast pass time and you can come back and do it and uh, skip the queue uh, bear in mind with the virtual queue you are queuing virtually so it's like we come back in about approximately two three hours then you join a queue and it was about another hour or so when we joined it yeah so you can't really leave the park either you've got to keep an eye on that because uh, the boarding groups do change if, if the ride goes down the boarding groups get delayed if the ride's going well the boarding group can move quite quickly so you do have to keep checking your phone keeping an eye on the return time etc so if, you, if you've got 20 dollars spare and you want to ride it you want to do it you want to avoid all the hassle and the waiting around it is an option just to jump on uh, if not you're gonna have to do the boarding groups but i'm excited to try it again let's see if it's a little bit different i mean last time we'd waited like six hours to ride it yeah, so, so I think last time just a bit missed, yeah maybe going on a bit fresher straight on no queuing around might be a little bit better for us yeah. maybe that might make it a bit of a better experience i still do think though as a whole the ride and the queue line is lacking a bit of a storyline but we'll try it again see what we think yeah. And I'll take you all along with us as well. We're going to show you the uh, the cars as well. It's a bit of a different setup. So you are on like a bike leaning forward. So do make sure you're comfortable. There is a couple of test seats. However, if you don't want to do that bike leaning forward, there is a couple of um, different cards where you can sit down a bit more normally. So we'll show you those as well. I'm excited now. Now we're booked on and ready to go. Let's see if this, uh, see if it comes out a little bit differently to how we did it last time. We've got two lines outside, the virtual queue to the right and the lightning lane to the left. Now when we did the virtual queue last time, it was all the way up and down here and it was really long. Yeah, we'll see how long it takes us now. Yeah, let's test it. So our uh, lightning lane time was 11.40 to 12.40. We've come in at bang on 11.40, so I'll see how long this takes. Last time was at least an hour wait, oh, even after yeah. waiting virtually for five hours. Yeah. So these are the seats here, so you can see how they work. You can test them, see if it's going to suit you. You can see how it works. You lie forward, pull forward on the handles, and the back restraint comes on as well. So this is a bit of a different yeah, setup. How bad is getting on the ride? Yes, there's been a few people who've struggled, so do make sure you ask a cast member about the alternative seating as well if you think you might struggle. But here we go, Lightning Lane, 11.40. Let's get ourselves in there. One, the light cycle run makes sharp turns with sudden drops and stops. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times into the world of drop. Well, so far it's been very, very quick on the couple of minutes. We've been digitized already, Laura. We're in the world of Tron. We're digitized. So now this is the bit where I don't understand what exactly are we doing? Racing. Okay. If someone can enlighten us a bit more in the comments, do let us know. So now we're digitized. What are we doing now? That's my question. What is the ride? Is it a race? Right, okay. For what reason? <laughs> We're just grabbing our free little locker. I'm going to put you all in. But I will be taking my phone on the ride anyway. There is a little storage compartment, isn't there? But your main bit's getting these free lockers. And uh, we'll catch you on the ride. Yeah, very intense music. They're all keen, ready to go. So you, this, you can see just how you sit on the bike. However, at the back is some seats. I'll try and catch them if I can. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite intense in here. 
it's just a bit, just a thing in here, they could explain what exactly we're doing. I know. Like, why are we on the bikes? What are we racing? What are we doing? What, what's, what have we got to achieve? Exactly. Sort of thing. Exactly. Just on that screen, they could be explaining exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to give it another go. So, we just encountered a few issues. They're just unloading this one. So, I've got a little bit of a delay. Uh, just our luck isn't it Laura as soon as we get in after paying twenty dollars to not wait we've got to wait <laughs> uh, hopefully not they're running a few test cards at the moment any longer than originally suggested we apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience if you have any further questions please see the nearest cast member there you go just our luck <laughs> $40 to wait in the line anyway. Yeah. That's always the chance you take, I suppose, isn't it? But yeah, but we're not going to wait as long as other people, so we're not going to be too bad. Yeah, we, might, we can't complain, but still, yeah. you know. But this is the same about the board. Too, we wanted so. to walk straight on, didn't we, really? For the yeah. money, you want to walk straight on. If you're paying for the privilege to walk straight on, really. Yeah, you want to You should get a discount or a refund if it's not, you know. Yeah. Well, we'll see, won't we? I mean, there was no signs of uh, anything going on. Sounds a bit more uh, serious than we thought. Well, we're now 20 odd minutes in, and uh, turn, the lights on. turn the lights on, and everything's. Interesting one. Oh dear! Just our luck. Just our luck. <laughs> oh, is it possible to leave a queue? Yeah, it's just a bit, you know, it's not, it's not going on, just, you know, very dramatic music and yeah. a broken down ride. Let the lights go back on, it feels like the lights on. Yeah. Yeah. You will experience an increase in your wait time. You're welcome to wait in our queue for a competition to resume. However, we do not have an estimated time for reopening. If you do not wish to stay, if you have any other further questions, please see the nearest cast member and thank you for your patience and understanding. Right, we're out of here. We're not waiting any longer. I don't know. See any of his cast member? I think we just go back that way. I think where it says exit that way. Off we go. Well, it certainly wasn't meant to be with Tron. No. So we're going to go back to the guest. We're going to go to the guest experience little uh, tent umbrella and uh, speak to them and see what the options are. See whether we can get a refund or. I mean, it'll be in the terms and conditions probably. We might have just lost forty dollars. So this is going to be something for you to learn, though. If this happens to you, we'll find out exactly what the options exactly, are. Yeah. So this could happen to any of you. You can buy a Lightning Lane, and this happens. You've, you know, you're forty dollars in the drain now. We've scanned into the ride, so we need to make sure that we go and tell them we didn't do the ride, and uh, see what the options are because we don't want to be here all day. We're planning on leaving in an hour or so, so. We don't really want to wait around for the ride to reboot to do another fast pass, no, really. It is completely down. Lights on, music. Oh, yeah, it was mute the music, lights on. Yeah. And Louis said the ride is down, you can leave. Yeah, down. that basically means they're not going to be opening anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> Just our luck, day one. We must have been about two cards away yeah. from uh, being on it and not on it again, but there we go. Right, let's go to guest experience and we'll let you know exactly what you do if this happens to you. Okay, so dead easy, we've got a full refund. Uh, you've got two options, you either get a free, uh, free full refund or you, they'll give you a voucher to go back and use it later on in the day when it reopens. However, if we do that, we're going to be lumped with all the people who already bought it. Yep, and then you're going to be obviously and with all the people trying to get back on. It's going to be a bit of a backlog and then again, you don't know when that's going to be. So for us, I think, Percy, I would just take the refund forget about it and then maybe look at doing it later on when it's back on again but I wouldn't tie yourself down all day to look in is it back on or can I use my voucher I just get a refund and move on which is what we've done uh, we're gonna head to Haunted Mansion which is not a bad wait and then we'll go from there we might have a little bit of a bite to eat here or we might leave the park and have a bite somewhere else have a little bit of a wonder see what happens see how we get on let's try and do Haunted Mansion we just lost about an hour and a half there which is a shame but uh, there we go wasn't meant to be
since I'm on holiday with a foolish mortal, it's uh, saintly times. I need some really good tidbits. What did you learn? When it's saying 13 minutes, it means it's a straight Yeah, it's the same as uh, Tower of Terror does the same as well. Oh, 13, yeah. Thinking I was well, a lot of people might not know that though, so when it is 13, it's just basically no line. Tower of Terror does the same as well. Oh, that's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so it's quite good. Yeah, nice and easy. As though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm. To find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Prematurely. <laughs> Not frightfully sensitive. Bright lights. They're just in time. I think it was a good time to do it just after the parade because it's now uh, much, much busier. Yeah, very uh, busy. So, what we're we looking for, Laura? You were looking for some specific snack this or something? Is, um, rice crispy cake. I hoarded one, two, one. They sell it in a confectionery shop, I think, at the right. beginning. What, on Main Street, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. we'll have a little look in there then. Yeah, I think we might uh, start to head out the park now, I think. Might go and get some lunch somewhere or we'll uh, definitely get to Walmart as well. We've got to do that and then see about doing a different park later on. So it's this one here we're looking for. Right, okay. We'll see if we can find it on Main Street. Well, we've had a good few hours in here. It has been good. Shame about Tron, but uh, overall pretty good. Not quite as that quiet as I thought it was going to be, but still quieter than usual to be fair. So we'll head down these shops, maybe get this little uh, Rice Krispie Treat Laura wants, and then we'll uh, have my guys having a bit of fun there. So we'll see where we end up this afternoon, what we end up doing. Definitely Walmart. Then we've got to pick another park later, Laura, so you've got to get your thinking cap on. Maybe Epcot, something like that, or Hollywood Studios. Yeah, I think you're feeling Epcot today, aren't you? A little bit, yeah. We'll see how we feel, see how we feel later. I do love the uh, ice cream sundae in there as well. I could just eat one of them tempted for a little treat now getting a bit peckish and a little bit hungry now with the uh, time difference and everything it's way past lunchtime in the UK so I'm pretty hungry now just spotted this t-shirt in the window quite like that just along for the ride I like that men's t-shirt it's quite subtle as well isn't it yeah it's quite nice that one let's have a little look a little moochie we're in the candy store now look at that looks nice we're in the candy store checking out all the gear they didn't have the t-shirt unfortunately looks nice if i'm not into toffee apples though but that marshmallow is it yeah you getting one yeah getting one to try okay see if we can find your crispy treat looks amazing that you know it does look really nice that see what else we've got going on in here some different halloween treats the giant mickey cookie that i like 
Oh, it's tempting. Very tempting. Some good looking stuff in here. Well, that's us for Magic Kingdom 4 today. Yeah. Do love all the Halloween decorations. We're going to jump on the monorail now back to the car. Uh, then I think we're going to head to Disney Springs for a bit of lunch. Maybe a yeah. chicken guys is what I'm craving. Yeah, you like the chicken guys, don't you? And then we're going to pop to Walmart. And then we might just power on through and stay out and go straight to Epcot or Hollywood Studios. Or we might go for a little bit of a break. We'll see. Uh, we're not too sure yet uh, what to do. We don't know whether... Because I don't want to... It's a little bit of driving. I don't want to spend too much driving. Yeah. See how we feel. But first on the agenda is a good bite to eat. So I am, I am thinking chicken guys is one of my favourites. Yeah, that is one of your favourites. Do love it in there. Disney Springs, not too far away either. Oh, here's a monorail just pulling in. We might be lucky, Laura. So we are here in Disney Springs. We parked in Orange Garage, row in level three, row ten, I think. So yeah. Got here just um yeah so we're knackered now I'm keeping myself so we're absolutely knackered now but we're gonna have a nice refresh have something to eat and just gonna have a chicken guy I think I'm gonna go to Glaze Pizza and then eat and drink chicken guy with pizza we're just gonna have a nice snack have a nice meal and a nice drink which we're desperately doing now we do need to be fresh so we'll do that and then we're gonna to go to Walmart and Epcot today I think I think we're going to Epcot but I think I might go to Epcot first and then go to Walmart later so we can just stay in the Disney area so it's less drive for Andrew so I think we'll do that although plans may change so we'll see what happens once we've had a nice break but we do need a break now because it's, it is 2 o'clock so we do need a break so we're going to do that have a little rest and then we can think what we're going to do for the rest of the day Here I am, please pizza. I think I'm gonna get half normal and fresh cheese and a half with the jalapenos and green peppers, I think. I think that's gonna be my choice for today and then some um, buffalo sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, much needed, much needed for me. It is full fat. I do love the full fat one. You can't get diet one, so I'll stick with this one. Hey everyone, so while Laura grabs a gluten-free glaze pizza, and then he said glaze, uh, I've got myself a nice chicken, guys. I love these. So I've got my, I've got five pieces of chicken, nice chicken guy fries, and I've gone for the teriyaki sauce, my favourite. Really, really like this. A lot of people think, oh, it's just chicken goujons, but they're much nicer than that. The, the seasoning on them and everything, they're just amazing. Really nice. So this is my lunch. This should fuel me back up again. And it looks like we're probably going to head off to Epcot for a little bit, but first off, let's get this down, we get a bit of energy. My pizza, that's a lot of jalapenos and green peppers, so I'm going to take some of those off. But also, my buffalo sauce, I cannot wait to dig into that. So, I'm going to eat good. this now. Yeah, I I enjoy it. My chicken, it's delicious. What, did, what nice. sauces did you get? Just two teriyakis. Oh, they're nice. Like teriyaki, yeah. yeah. You've got a monster as well, have you? Yeah, Feel needed need it. Energy booster, oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. I'm knackered, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So, I thought I'd get a monster. Because sometimes the fountain drinks are quite um, watered down or whatever, so I thought get a nice kind of monster. I've already had a glass of water in there, so I'll enjoy this pizza now and then we'll calculate what we're going to do. Probably Epcot, I think. Yeah. I don't really want to drive out and to then back Walmart, in again. Then to home again, then back again, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I think we'll just head straight to Epcot. Streamline the day. Yeah, see yeah. how we get on and then do Walmart on the way home. Sort yeah, of thing. I think so. The heat now has definitely ramped up. Yeah. Definitely more hitting the 30s now. 
But I think we're going to head off to Ed Epcot now, definitely. Just thought do some of the rides in there. I really enjoyed that chicken guy, it was good call. Enjoy your Blaze Pizza? If you do like pizza, enjoy a Blaze. If you like chicken tenders, enjoy your chicken guys as well. And a bit cheaper than getting them in the parks, but I'm way nicer. Yeah. Way nicer and cheaper. I mean, I could have got chicken fingers in Epcot, but they're not the same, they're not as nice and more expensive. So, that was a nice little bit of a break. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll head on to it into Epcot now. A bit all over the place today. Day one, getting a feel for things, working out what's going on. Uh, enjoying it, enjoying it so far. A little bit tired still, but uh, still enjoying it. We'll have a little bit, of, that'll kick in. I'll have a nice energy boost off that. Uh, yeah. I've had a Powerade, Sprite. Loads of chicken, should be good to go. Here we are at Epcot and look what's back, Laura. What's back? The, the trams, the trams are finally back here at Epcot. So you're not nine. absolutely exhausted by the time you get there to that big round ball. Oh, yeah. We've finally got the trams back, which is nice. Yeah, we'll Jump on to yep, Dory, 413, I think it is. But yeah, it's good to see these back. I'm gonna walk all the way in anymore. Nice. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise your children. Thank you. Just looking on the way in, I was thinking, I wonder what, what's happened to the Epcot ball there? It looks like it's just got really dirty up there. It's not like uh, Epcot, that normally all spot on up there. It's quite dirty up there. Maybe the, I don't know, due to do it. I've never seen it like that before. I've never seen it. Uh, I saw the black in the distance. I thought, has that been burnt or something or something itty but no it just looks like uh dirt just unusual maybe it's the humidity and the moss has grown or something right in we go let's see how busy epcot is then it's not too bad so far soaring about 30 minutes but it's not just soaring this year laura it's a different soaring it's a soaring over California. It's a limited edition one uh, running for the next limited. It's a limited time. I don't know how long it's running for. Really? Yeah, you saw <laughs> over California instead. You have to do that. I didn't even yeah, know definitely that. doing that. Definitely going to be doing that. We have to take a wander around. Just going to have a little look on the app. See if there's any possibility of buying a lightning lane for Guardians as well. So have yeah. a little go at that. But yeah, yeah definitely want to do that. Different soaring, limited time. Never done that before. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do that. Never I'm done it. That. I'll try and find out. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You say you've done it. I'll try and find out how long it runs for. For but I think it's only September. I think September, October. We'll try that. and find out. It looks good fun. Yeah. I looks different. Think. Yeah. So the soaring over California has only just started today as well, September twenty second. So we've come at a good time to do it. Oh, Get in there. One of the yeah. first days to do it. Yeah. See what it's like. Popped in and picked up our sparkly pass holder magnet. Just looking at these new releases as well. You've got Dreaming Walt and also this. This is new as well. And there's also some nice new looking ears as well that I've just seen. And then also this big new big lamp. Quite like the lamp for some reason. Like that. Mm, more ears. Ooh, what's in this? Not sure. Some new products in here though that we haven't seen. It's nice to see a bit of a change. Got even more here. Different, uh, that's quite nice as well, isn't it? Moves as well. Quite like that, dopey drive. They are quite nice, aren't they? Something a bit different. I like it. I do think the lamp's quite cool. Laura's loving this now as well. Don't know whether you get it home though, Laura. These bookends are quite cool as well. A loads of nice new stuff, haven't they? Loads of these, they might, that might have already sold out, Laura. I can't see many of them left. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, like that? Oh, that'd be nice and awesome as well, you know? <laughs> sure, it would. How much is it? It'd be limited edition. It's Eras. It's all this Eras collection, $70 plus tax. Some nice stuff, though. I like it. I like to see those ears. Got those ears just there, the new Epcot ones. Just trying to find them. We've got even more era stuff here. What's that? Memo board. Some different ears as well. 
Oh, this is they've got a lot more new stuff in here than they have in uh, Magic Kingdom from what we saw this morning. Yeah, this shop seems to be way better. Yeah, I'm not sure where those ears are, whether they've all gone already. A lot of this stuff will have been selling quite quickly. Here we go then, we're in line. We're getting there. Oh, so Ready excited. and waiting. Can't wait to go to California. Let's go to California. Yeah. I've never seen anything of this, so it's gonna be completely new. Like, like a completely new dogs? ride to me. It was on the app. I'd heard things about it, but for some reason I thought it was the one in California, not this one. Yeah. But it's this one, so. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's a whole new ride. I've got to say, that's going to be a whole new ride. Yeah. And we can finally stay in California. There you go. Don't say we don't go anywhere different. Yeah. <laughs> We've done California this trip. There you go. Right, so we've even got a different little video here. It's giving all the uh, famous landmarks in California on the screen. Palm Springs. So a little bit different. This is going to be really, really. It's like a brand new ride. They should do this more often. That's I wish they do this more often with like, different did places. They go around yeah, yeah, different places. Go I think it'd be really good. Or they could even make it random. You don't know what you're going to get. You don't know where you're going to go. Each time you do it, they could try and change what you see on the screen. I think it'd be good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, like a brand new ride, this. Well, that was absolutely brilliant. I love that. I thought it was really good. Amazing so We've had an amazing time in California. We went skiing, went in a hot air balloon, yeah. went to the citrus orchids. All, all over, did all over. Thank you very much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for guys. joining us along, yeah. So I that thought that was. So that was the soaring that you get in California. Oh, is it? In Disneyland, yeah. And you, you saw at the end it was Disneyland that yes, we flew into. I've seen that. But it was brilliant, different smells. I love the smell when we went along that river where they were like kayaking oh, yeah, and fishing. It, 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 it then they had the ocean smell with the surfers. And then when we went um, skiing, it was a minty fest, wasn't it? Yeah, through the forest, that was yeah. really good. I enjoyed that. Was that was, I think, possibly even better than the original. No, it was better. Mm, but I do think they should do more of that, though. I really do. They could Definitely. really, they could keep the ride the way it is. No major refurb. Keep the, the motion of the, the seats and everything the same, but just change what you're seeing on the screen. Yeah. It's doable, and they could do that more often. They could mix it up a lot more, I think. Yeah. But that was really good. I enjoyed that. So we're going to maybe see about trying to do Test Track because Test Track is due for a big, major overhaul. We talked about this last time we were here. I mentioned how I love the original one, and uh, there is talk of it going a bit more like the original, yeah. but it is all going to be changing Test Track, so we'll talk a bit more about that when we go on it in a bit. Also, just while we're outside of Journey into the Imagination, you have got the new Figment meet and greet. Laura loves a bit of Figment. Do you fancy doing it, Journey into the Imagination? Nothing in my imagination, nothing else, not real life. Want spark of life? Oh. <laughs> like your fancy. You don't fancy it now? No, no Sure? Chance. No chance. You want to do it with me now? No, we're just going to be waiting an hour to see just, you. Just here now, no, innit? Like what about just the ride, though? No, no, no. Why? I don't like it's good. I don't know why he's wronged me in such a way. I don't, I don't know. know I reckon it's in your imagination. The, the, the reason you don't like him is all imaginary. It is. He's, Most like I wish he was. He's a good guy. He's not. He's a good guy. It's he's just not. your imagination. No. 
Laura, that fountain. That's not spraying up, would you know? That's your imagination. That's figments messing with you. How can a fountain? How can a fountain? How can a fountain spray upwards? It's your imagination. See? It's figment messing. That's because you didn't meet and greet with figment. That you're seeing things upside down. <laughs> So it is, of course, food and wine festival here at the moment. So all around Wales Showcase, you've got different booths of different types of food, different drinks as well. So you can eat your way around Wales Showcase. It's quite good to come in one night, don't have dinner and eat some of the different uh, things that take your fancy on the way around. You can do a whole map. You can collect different stickers as you're eating different ones and things like that. So it is a nice thing to do. Wander around the showcase, have different bites, whatever you fancy. There's different... Uh, food from different countries, different snacks. So we'll keep an eye out, see if anything jumps out at us. We do need a drink. We've got Joffrey's there. I could, have, I could possibly even have a Starbucks at this point, Laura. I could do with a little boost. Yeah, you I could certainly do with a little boost. Yeah. We just walked all the way to the refreshment outpost because we wanted some of these Coke slushes. It's the only place to sell slushes in here, I think, oh. and they are nice. The Coca-Cola flavour, yeah. lovely, aren't they? It's a bit too small, though. Mm. I wish you could get a large. But yeah, it's worth the walk. We've got to go all the way back to test track in a bit, but worth the walk. These are lovely. That really does hit the refreshing spuds, doesn't it? And that's available all year round, that as well, in that refreshment outpost. These are lovely. If you like Coke, oh, yes, a little very amazing. refreshing and Coke it's, slush. It's ice cold as well, mm. which really helps on a day like today. Mm. Mm. Yeah. A little boost from that as well. A little bit of sugar. Yeah, there's so many different stalls. We've eaten in a few of these in the vlogs over the years. Uh, I do quite like what to get in India. The chicken tikka masala is nice in India. I like that. Had that a few times before. Curry spice crispy cheese. That sounds quite nice. Yeah. So we might come in one night and do a bit of uh, eating in here for dinner one night. Yeah. See what gluten free options are available and stuff. Oh, there you go. Laura can have a look, do a bit of research. It's only day one, remember? So plenty of time to do all this coming up. We walked all that way and there is a frozen slushy Coca Cola station here. Um, and you can choose different toppings and things. So there is one a little bit closer, but uh, no, it was worth it. Enjoyed the little walk as well. So we're gonna have a quick little chill now for a minute, a little cool down, because it is getting hot now. And then we'll let maybe see what uh, the wait time is on test track. These are nice as well. So these are annual pass holder premier, Dooney and Berks, they're nice. These are the 100th anniversary stuff. They're expensive, too expensive, but they're nice though. I do like the design. It is a nice design, very Epcot. So we've just found the ears that Laura liked, these Epcot ones. They've got your friend on them, Laura. <laughs> They've got your pal on them. Maybe not on them. It must be on the other side somewhere, maybe. Well, if it's not on this pit, So they're all slightly pit. different, aren't they? So you can have like Epcot yeah. up there on that one. It's not on there. It's all cut a little bit different. But they're nice though, oh, aren't they? I can't see them. How much are they? Four to five. Not cheap. No, not cheap. Not at all. Remember when they were $20? I know. But you think? get your annual pass discount. They are nice. You know, as long as you don't lose them again. No, <laughs> devastated. Are you going to have moved my country outlets and see my unserved six quid ones? Yeah, no, you might do. They are nice. I mean, I like it's expensive moves. for the price though, isn't it? Yeah. This is what I was talking about with the Disney products though. Look at the glue on that. It's awful. Yeah. The glue on that, and then you look at this one, is they're quite, yeah. I mean, they should be all nicely stitched for $45, not have loads of glue, all different glue levels on them. It's all, mm, I'm putting them off, I'm putting them off you, aren't I? Because I don't know. They should be all stitched perfect for that. Not, not huge different blobs of glue everywhere. I don't know, they're nice, they're nice from a distance, but then you get up close and they just feel a bit, mm, 
Yeah. They should be for fifty dollars. They should be like spot on. wowzer. Spot on, you know, yeah. you see them on, on Etsy and stuff. They're you know handmade, spot on for less. Yeah. So yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna avoid them. Let's see the the other pair. Some they're all made a bit differently. I mean, they look a much better quality. Let's have a look at these. These look much better quality, better finish. And they are yeah. those lounge flies just sit and. Um, Ah, okay, fly. so they're lounge fly, yeah, so, and these are different. These are just Disney. So different factories, and these are oh, thirty-five. So the whole ten. So the cheaper. ten cheap, but they still feel oh, still not great. really, you know, I don't know. The bag's lovely, but yeah, I just feel like the ears have gone a bit down a bit. Yeah. Just look at the ones that Laura got last year, last trip. Sorry, I should say back in May. And it's absolutely perfect. All of that is spot on. So it depends what factory they're coming from, and it's a shame because they're absolutely gorgeous. But as you said, just... yeah. We're in charge of designing, then, Laura. I'm going to go wild. You pick our test track car. Let's do it. What's that? That's... See, it just changes it to what it wants to do anyway, really, doesn't it? Okay. You can play with that so you can drag it and change the shape. Uh, I think you can, like... No, leave it, leave it as that. Go on, leave it as that. Next. Right. What are you thinking, Laura? Next, I want it long. Okay. With, I want it as wide as possible. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, you can play with it and go, up, down, wee. That's quite nice. Looks like a buggy. Nice. Next. Uh, so you can click electric, full fuel, solar, hybrid, gas. Supercharged. Oof, you're going to make it fast then. Okay. Next. Ooh, I like red. So, we change the face of it and play with it like that. That's quite nice. Doesn't do much, does it? No. Paint. What are you going for? I like the red. You like the red? Okay. Wheels. Oh no, we're not having graphic. Oh dear, no. Oh god, no. I'll just say none. We move graphic. Wheels, I want them. Ooh, where are they? Wild. They're nice, they're nice. They're horrendous. They're horrendous, they're nice. Too small, too small. Alright, them. Ooh, they look quite cool. Try them. Let's try them. Accessories. Now, we don't need any accessories, do we? I don't think so, no. They're all weird, like, pipes and stuff, don't they? Yeah, we don't need anything to stop us from being aerodynamic, do we? No. You you tell them, Laura. What's that? Oh, Ooh, a bit of a boom box, is that? Mm -hmm. That's going to drag us down, so we move accessories. Well, you can put a hood on it. That'll do well. You have to hold on. Hood, hood the hood's good. There you go, there. Oh, okay. Keeps it aerodynamic. Tail. You've already got one now. You've already done it. That's it. Sunny, sorted. Your vehicle's ready. Continue. Oh. Oh no. No, I think that's it. You just leave it now. That's it. You scanned in. You're done. You're locked and loaded. There we go. We're ready. All right. So if anyone wants to put a pre order in on this vehicle, you can just send us. Uh, your details we'll send you through a contract we just take a 10 percent deposit oh my god it's not very it's, it's a poor environment it's terribly inefficient you did go for a supercharged <laughs> ready then laura ready to sell some cars i am ready to test this car We're going to be best be spot on this be? best be amazing <laughs> i don't think it's going to be very good it's got to be a first finish <laughs> So we're just going to scan the card now and it should load the design and wait for them to go and then you scan and then uh, it should load everything in. We'll get to see our results. We'll begin with the capability test to 
see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. SimCar performance data acquired. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing SimCar off-road and extreme weather sequence. Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Scanning SIM car for optimal eco efficiency. Engaging eco scan for aerodynamic efficiency. Test. Okay, the responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated driving technology verified and active. But you drive through it, there's, there's nothing going on. Um, our thing didn't even scan, it didn't come up on the screen. On the first test, nothing came up on the screen. So it is desperate for a refurb, but I hope they do it right this time because that refurb was never great, even when it first came out, in my opinion. So I definitely hope they do the uh, right thing with it and make it more interesting. It's far too computer based, and then the computer based stuff doesn't even work. So I hope they do the right thing with it because it has got a lot of potential. Take it back to the way it was, spray booths, you know, water effects, yeah. steam effects, stuff like that going on. It's, it's far too tame at the moment for me. Just loads of black rooms with neon yeah, paint. Yeah, it is, yeah. There's uh, nothing special about it really. It used to be so much better. Let's hope they make it uh, back, more back to the way it was. Because uh, as I said, the concept and everything's got great potential. Uh, that's all in my opinion of course a lot of people do like it the way it is but when you've done the original one that's way more toned down because i remember when before i came out to you like the test track's amazing it does this it does this it does this yeah. and i was like oh really excited and, this, and, this, and, this, and, this, and i was like what was he going on about and then you went at the end yeah, they changed change. it yeah. i was like oh because you were going on about how amazing it was and yeah. then between you last go and us going together, it changed. Right, so, we need to form a plan now. Let's see if we're going to do any other rides. Or we're going to have a bite to eat, a drink. I have to see, we need a drink, but look at the queues, wow. I'd say go and try and grab a drink actually from, um, what's it called, the, yes, 
the one that does all the little taste testers, the name's gone. Uh, but they do nice frozen Powerade, so I fancy one of them actually. They're club cool, I couldn't think of the name. So this is where we're gonna go. I'm not gonna do the tasters, I'm gonna go straight to the back. And uh, I think you can get these, but they put them on the little freeze machine, I think. Oh no, it's just a full on Powerade slush, that was it. There's a few different places do different things. It's a Powerade slush. Do you want a Powerade slush? I might get the orange slush and the water, yeah. Okay. I might get the water as well. No, you best grab the water out of the fridge then. Okay. I don't know where the blue Powerade bit came from because I must have been confused. It's the blue raspberry Fanta in here, which will do me nicely. I'll have one of those. Laura's going to grab a water. So it is hot out there today. So we're just now down by the uh, World Showcase Lagoon. And good bit of info. There is going to be a new illumination show starting in December uh, where they're going to be using some of the original Disney music, stuff like that. Oh, so there is going to be, so a, bit like it used to be. a whole new show in December coming to the lake. I'm glad they got rid of that big, hideous barge thing. Mm. Uh, so much nicer now, so much clearer. And uh, what a big mistake, what a big load of uh, waste of money that was. But yeah, a new show coming in December. Very exciting. If you're coming over anytime after December, you'll have a new show here in Epcot to watch. We've got yeah. a new test track on the way as well. Yeah, Epcot's doing well. Yeah, some exciting few things on the way for the parks. I'm going to be explaining some of the other things in the other parks that might be coming up as well. But yeah, it's exciting times. We've got all that whole new section opening up as well. In yeah. the middle, all of that's going to be... All the and everything, yes. Yeah, it's really good. It's going to all come together quite nicely, I think. I mean, it did need a bit of a revamp, didn't it? But yeah, it's fast become one of the best now, I think, this yeah. park. It really has, especially with Guardians of the Galaxy. Couldn't get anywhere near it today, but... You never can. You've got to be here at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's worth $20 any, any day oh, of the yeah, week, that definitely. ride. Yeah, definitely. It really is. The crowd levels are really jumping up now because... Magic Kingdom's just closed, everyone's heading here on the monorails, the cars, everyone's heading over here from Magic Kingdom now, Magic Kingdom's kicked out, so uh, we're going to start to head out now, we're going to head to Walmart, yeah. then go back to the villa and chill a little bit, I'll do a bit of editing, relax a bit, it's been a busy, busy day one, I enjoyed it, it's been great fun, but uh, yeah, it's time for a little mooch around Walmart, yeah, we have pick up some snacks, no, it just wasn't worth driving all the way home for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so. so we're a bit dead on our feet right now for day one. But I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you do give a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe as well. It's completely free. We're going to be vlogging all 14 days of our trip over here. So lots of vlogs coming up. Yeah, we will uh, catch you when we get to Walmart. Well, I'm certainly glad we're going now because that line... I don't know whether we can see. They're all see. just pouring in. It's like yeah. almost like it's it's all yeah. looks like all it's like eight in the morning. There, I know. Everyone's just pulled out of Magic Kingdom and straight to Epcot. Whether it's monorail driving. Yeah, we've seen the monorails full, didn't we? But this is just insane. Brim, yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. In now. So Jeez. I'm glad we've left now. Definitely glad we've left. Yeah, it would have just been ridiculous in yeah. there tonight. Okay, here we are then at Walmart on the 192 near Old Lake Wilson Road. This is yeah. the one that we come to all the time. We like it in here. So we're going to have a good little mooch around, see if there's anything new or interesting in there. We're looking for those prime sachets, bottles of prime as well yeah. that I like. Might this time. Yeah, we'll see if they've restocked. We'll just have a good old mooch like we always do in here. Show you some of the yeah, goodies. Just go to all the stuff in here. You love just mooching, don't you? If you do see anything that you like the look of, let us know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you come to Walmart for as well or an American product that you really love, do let us know. But yeah, we're gonna make our way in. It's uh, looking a little bit busier. We normally come in the morning. It's now evening time, so it's a bit busier in here. Yeah, let's see what we can find, see what we've got going on. How'd you like them apples? There you go. Some American apples for you there. Uh, it's much busier in the evening time. If you can come and shop in the morning, definitely do that. It's much, much busier in here than normal when we're in here. What's Laura's spot here? Laura loves the American grapes. What's so special about these American grapes then? The big and the fat and the juicy because in England you can get them loads. Right. Season, like that in Spain, it's telling me if you can't, you're going to get them sometimes. Right. And what about the other ones? Do you not like red grapes? I have them sometimes, but they're green. Right. Okay. Yeah. They can go straight in your basket. Straight in the basket. Alright. 
let's uh, stride on. What else have we got going on? All kinds of different fruits and veggies and looking for anything in particular that's American or stands out. Kiwis, $2.98 for some kiwis. Plum pots, I don't know. Plums, just plums, aren't they? Plums. They're just plums. If you're looking for a banana keeper, then look at no further. Here they are. Bananas stay fresher, prevents damaging soft spots, last longer. Are you gonna get a banana keeper with it, Laura? No. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at some of these cookies then. They're all Halloween themed as well. Oh, we've got Halloween popcorn. Little there, uh, boxes there with pretzels in as well. Let's have a look at these here. Uh, I'm okay, you know. I'm not feeling super hungry. No, I'm, I'm more thirsty, really. I'm thirsty, and I could just do with a nice cake or something like that. Would do me nicely. Um, it's just seeing what what there is that really takes my fancy. I tried one of these desserts last time. And it didn't, yeah, it didn't. That was no, it didn't blow me away. That it was a bit like liquidy on the bottom. I just go for a nice straight up, nice straight up New York cheesecake. I mean, it's got to be good for four dollars twenty two, hasn't it? Yeah. Try a nice, just a nice straight up piece of New York cheesecake. I think. Oh no, it's too, it's too full on that. I'm afraid. No. Oh, so we got tiramisu cake there. It's massive though. Only one a little small piece. Not got any of them individuals, have they? No. Uh, like all these big chocolate cakes here. Chocolate cake. I mean, it does look nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, what would you go for? Chocolate cake or... Ah, there's a tiramisu, smaller. Tiramisu cake, though. Yeah. Now, I'm going to stick I'm gonna stick with what I've gone for. Stick with what you choose first, is what I always say. Whatever you chose first, go with it. Pumpkin roll, if anyone likes pumpkin. In a roll cake. Let's carry on around. Tell you what, everyone's looking at me filming. <laughs> I normally come in and it's nice and quiet. Everyone's looking at me like, what's he filming for? What's so special about our supermarket? Because <laughs> loads of people just in here grocery shopping. And I'm like, you know, loving it. And they're looking at me like, you know, they're just cakes. What's your big deal? Got some other stuff here. See, they look nice, but I never know whether I'd like them or not. If you don't like them, you've got, you know, six of them. That's the problem. I, mean, that's the problem I love my Krispy Kremes, but you know, they could be amazing. I know, they could be good, but you've got six of them. If you don't like them, you've got six of them sitting in your fridge, haven't you? And I don't see many people buying them either. That's the problem. Right, let's carry on. Carry on around. Mm, nice football cake. Oh, oh, yeah, it's one of those co cake cookie things, isn't it? What else have we got going on, everyone? Lemon slices, similar to the one in Starbucks, those. Um, oh, you, you know, we were trying to avoid Jess Glynn. She's on again. She's on again. Since I've mentioned her name, she's following me everywhere. Following me everywhere she is, Jess Glynn. More cookies. Ooh, brownies. Cream brown. They just don't look nice to me at all, cream brownies. Oof. Don't think you need that many, do you, Laura? Uh, see, not gluten free. What else is going on? More, there you are. There's your little lemon loaf. Like that. Similar to what I get in Starbucks, but obviously a bit cheaper. $1.46 in here. Uh, Alright, so we're going to be here a long time, guys. There's a lot to explore. We're still only in the cakes and biscuits. So we're still only in the cakes and biscuits. I know, but there's so many. Oh, look at those. Stride on, yeah, but you can't eat them. Stride on, do you know what I mean? There's nothing I can eat, but like, it's just teeth and stuff. Do you think they look amazing? Yeah. See, some of this stuff just doesn't oh, doesn't really suck, suck me in. Just don't really do it oh for God, me. Yes. Think, no, oh, see, they just don't do it yeah. for me, really. They just don't. I mean, maybe if you got, got me them with a cup of tea, it'd be... But looking at them like that, they don't really do much for me. Right, let's carry on. I always say I'm going to try these and then I never do the famous seasoned fries. They look delicious, but we're never eating in, that's the worry. No. Got some gorgeous accommodation to cook in, but we don't eat, eat in that much. With us filming and stuff as well. We don't seem to eat in very much. Ooh, chicken Alfredo. See, I'd have some of these if I could get them at home. 
chicken and mashed potato, whiskey glaze, that looks nice as well. It does look nice, doesn't it? All of these different uh, dishes. If we could get these in Tenerife, I'd eat loads of this. You just can't get it. All these different little hot pockets and stuff. Corn dogs. So we found some of the gluten-free stuff here. Definitely not our dino. <laughs> hey, dino, and look, look at the name. Dino, oh, Buddies. Buddies oh, calling to you. Get the ones you like. It's a few times we've seen that name now. Right? It's the name of the bar that we've just bought in Tenerife. What have you got now? These are the ones that I like already. I think so. Um, Dig in, indulge, go wild. Oh, here's all your Twinkies and all of that now. Fudge rounds. I'm gonna pick up, I've gotta pick up some different stuff this time. I'm gonna have to try a few new things. What are they? Reese's flavored cupcakes. They look good as well, don't they? If you're into your Reese's. Some nice flavor fever trees here. If you like your gins, pink grapefruit, ginger beer, Laura would like that. And the blood orange ginger beer, Laura would love them. They sound nice to go with your bottles of gin. If you're uh, gonna have a little drink at your resort or your villa, all your different beers going on as well. Love a Bud Light, especially from the tin can bottles. Those there, they're the best. $22 for a case. Corona. What are these? Bud Light Seltzer Classic. Black Cherry, Watermelon, Tangerine, Mango. See, they look really interesting as well. They look pretty good. Truly punch flavored. Some of these would be nice, but I just don't drink. That's the thing, I'm not a big drinker. I'll have the odd beer or something, but not enough to buy a case like this. I just wouldn't drink it, it would just go to waste. Don't mind the odd beer, but not, not enough to have cases of it. Different Sam Adams. Oktoberfest. Yeah, looks like something from Horror Nights, that one. Voodoo Ranger IPA all kinds if you're into your beers there's all kinds to choose from absolutely people love all the ranch and the mayonnaise and everything when I show it in the vlogs so I'll show it again all the different mustards as well jalapeno mustard all good with like chicken tenders and stuff that is miracle whip so we'll find some uh, cool whip in a bit as well just a form of mayonnaise I think it is, yeah. One of a kind, creamy mayonnaise and tangy dressing. I don't do mayonnaise. Not a mayonnaise fan. Can't do mayo. Different coffees as well, or your Dunkin'. Starbucks. Caramel. Gotta be done. Don't get on with pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Just doesn't do it for me. I know everyone goes mad for it at Halloween, especially the Americans over here. Never managed to get on with pumpkin spice or pumpkin flavour. Not my sort of deal. Beef stew in a tin, anyone? Doesn't look appetizing. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't do it for me, that. It looks even worse in the plastic packaging. No. I think I'd have to pass again. on that. It probably would be nice, but no. There's a whole aisle, basically, of mac and cheese as well behind us. There's hardly any rubbish in it. I just doesn't look great, does it, yeah, packaging-wise. No. If you like mac and cheese, you're spoiled for choice. Loads of different variation and brands of mac and cheese. I mean, a whole wall of tomato sauce as well. Tomato purees. All your different beans, reduced sodium beans, white kidney beans. It's just got so much variation on stuff. Brown sugar hickory beans, baked beans, original beans. Any Boston beans? I do like Boston beans. Oh, more gluten free now. What have you got, Laura? Bagels. Bagels. Okay. Different bread, different rolls as well. Any special cookie? Got confetti cookies on sale there, Laura. Ooh. And then you love you loved the s'mores ones, didn't you? Love the s'mores ones. Love those. Yeah. Sorry. I've never had those. So while Laura decides on a gluten-free, I'm going to show you some of the other treats that are behind us. Ooh, Rolos unwrapped. Do like Rolos. They might be coming home with me. I might have a few Rolos. 
cookie cookie dough uh, Twixes, birthday cake Kit Kats. I'm gonna try and find something different though. I'd like to try some different things if we can. See if anything jumps out at us to try. So I've just picked up some of these Wild Cherry Skittles gummies. They're quite nice. Um, I do also quite like these ones, the Sour Star based ones. You've got Skittles Littles, which are tiny little ones. They're new. They're interesting. Look how small they are. I'll get some of them as well, actually. Let's go for it. Let's see if anything else is going on. Loads of your Swedish fish, sour sweets. Very tangy stuff, if you like any of that. There's a bit of a trend online now. Trying all the sour sweets. One of these sour bite crawlers. Love the sour sweets. Now an aisle that you all love to see, and that is the cereal aisle. Showing you all the different cereals. Ooh, proper cookie crisp. And all these cereals still have all the bad stuff that's banned in the UK. So you've got loads of options in here. If you want to treat yourself while you're away to a naughty box of cereal, they've got it all going on. Different flavour checks. I do like mini wheats as well, I like them. Captain Crunch as well. Fruity Pebbles, Cocoa Pebbles. Let me know what you would go for. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What's this? Oh, that's just been put there by, mis by mistake or put back. Frosted Krispies. Pumpkin Spice Cheerios. No, they don't do it for me. Ooh, Kit Kat. They'd be nice. Crisps now then. Let's have a little look at these. What are they? Cheddar and sour cream. Mm, mm, maybe. 50-50 mm, with that. Not too sure. Ooh, all your different popcorn. Where there's original up there. They look good. Different Cheetos. So the ones I've been having, last couple of trips are these flaming hot Doritos, these things. Laura loves them. Yeah, they're pretty nice, especially with some melted cheese on. They go quite nice and then just the normal blue Doritos are good as well. Can't go wrong with them. Any new flavors of Pringle? Hot honey. Scorchio, scorching, scorchio is my favourite word, close. Scorching, uh, very hot Pringles there. And also harvest blends with sweet potato. Interesting. What have you, have you picked up anything there? What have you picked up there? Nothing. You sure? No? Nothing happening? Okay. We'll keep mooching. So you have got, don't forget, all the great value branded stuff in here is basically Walmart's own brand and they will be a little bit cheaper than the uh, known brand stuff. So a bit like a home, having all your own Asda brand stuff. It's all a little bit cheaper. You can buy these big boxes of crisps as well, all these mixed boxes. So if you are a big family, you can grab a box of 42, big mix of them all, try them all, take them out to the parks as a snack. Will that do you quite well? And they're only, so it's $19 for a box of 42 crisps. Not a bad deal, is it? Just looking at some of the drinks now. Let's hope they've got Prime somewhere. Would be nice. These good little mini bottles as well. Good to take to the parks. It's this Fanta Strawberry. And the Fanta Orange here is actually orange as well. Ooh, pink lemonade. That'd be quite nice. Let's see if they've got some of my mini cans of Dr. Pepper. That's what I like to pick up normally. Some mini cans of Dr. Pepper. That might be them over there, they full cans. Want the minis, there they are. On to the Oreos and cookies now. So let's see. Any new flavors? Ooh, caramel coconuts, they're new. Not seen them before. Chocolate peanut butter pie. Java chip. They always bring out new flavors all the time. Lemon, double stuffed. There's your gluten-free there, Laura. Mint or normal. Chips Ahoy as well, oh, they're underrated Chips Ahoy, I do like a Chips Ahoy. They finally had some of the Prime sachets, so I bought a few boxes because I'm going to be taking them home for Dad. And because they're sachets, you can take them in your hand luggage. 
the dead light weight just emptying them out of the boxes. So they did have uh, quite a lot of those. I've taken a few of those of uh, each flavour. And I'm still trying to find just the normal prime bottles. Oh, there they are. There they are, up there, perfect. Strawberry, watermelon or lime. I like the lime one anyway, so that'd be perfect. There we go. So you've got a couple of bottles. It's getting a bit better, the situation. But still not many though, is I've there? I've also got the prime cans, but I'm not that into them. Very, very high uh, caffeine content in those. And no particularly new flavor of Monster, really. Nothing new particularly Monster-wise to try. No new flavors, really. We did try this one last time. It was quite nice, the ultraviolet. So we'll get one at Ish Zero yeah. Sugar, that one. But um, yeah, no new flavors of the Monster to try, really. What are you getting there? Okay. Give them a go. As long as they're the sugar-free ones. Yeah. So here are all the Halloween sort of mix bags, goodie bags, treat bags, trick or treat bags. We're looking for in particular the Cadbury Scream Eggs. They're amazing, but I can't find them. It doesn't look like there's any Scream Eggs in here. We will have to keep checking around in some of the other shops. But if you see them, Cadbury Scream Eggs, they're like cream eggs in the UK used to be. They're amazing, aren't they? Uh, we're still trying to find them all these years. Like, they might have stopped doing them, but they were amazing when we had them. We've added to the basket, I've got some of this Mr. Beast chocolate that everyone's going on about. These nuts, <laughs> Mr. Beast chocolate I'm going to try. Got some bow buns, got some pretzel dogs, and I've also got these icy lollies as well is what we're going for. Pretty full in here as well. Yeah. What's the best shop in Orlando? Walmart. I like how all your stuff's like... Neon in it. Everything I've bought is like neon. Yeah. <laughs> but not good, is it? Oh, as you can see, it was an expensive shop, but loads of that was all the prime for dad. He loves these sachets. Couldn't get them for him last time. So there was about $60 worth of prime sachets in that bill. Bought plenty of drinks for us as well for the trip and stuff. If you spread it out, as long as you use it all and you don't waste it, then it's all worth it, I suppose. So everyone, I'm finishing off this vlog the following day because last night we got home and we absolutely crashed. We were knackered. So I thought it was best to finish off the vlog today. I really do hope that you enjoyed day one. It wasn't quite as smooth as we'd hoped. It was a lot of waiting around, a lot of queues and things. I do hope things improve a little bit with the crowd levels, but I hope you did still enjoy it. Walmart there as well, good as always. We will be visiting some of the other big supermarkets here in Orlando as well uh, throughout the two weeks. If you're new to the channel, as I've said before, make sure you do subscribe. It's completely free. We've got loads of Florida videos already on the channel, but loads more to come. And if you've got recommendations of something that you'd like to see us do in the next two weeks, let us know down in the comments. Make sure you join the group on Facebook, very friendly group, the Night Strider Florida fan group. Uh, but that's going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. Lots coming up. We've already filmed day two. It's a good one. So make sure you tune in for that one. As you can see, we might well be uh, off to the fog again. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. But thank you very much and uh, stride on.